Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I am so excited to show you how I created this acorn canister using Dollar Tree items and you will not believe what I made the lid out of. So for the first project, I'm going to be using this glass candle holder from the Dollar Tree and I picked this up because I really like the shape of it. And I'm going to be using some ivory chalk paint made by Waverly. And I'm going to begin by just giving this a nice, good, even coat all the way around the glass candle holder, which is going to become the base of our acorn. And I'm going to set that to the side and let it dry completely. And it does take two coats of paint to get some good coverage on there. The top, you guys, I'm going to be using this bikini top from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to take that out and remove the rope from it and set the other one to the side. And I'm also going to be using one of the wood stems out of the little wood stem packs that you pick up at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to peel that down and sand it, kind of making it as smooth as I possibly can. And I'm going to secure that to the top of the what's going to become our lid with E6000 and hot glue. And I chose to use the E6000 because if you decide to pick up the lid, it will be nice and secure by that stem. And then I am going to run a bead of glue around that just to secure it. So once the glue has dried, this, I love the texture. I really like the way the texture is, is um, standing out. It gives it a more realistic look. So I am going to be using some fast dry premium spackling to fill in those holes because I want it to have a nice finished look. And I just push that down inside the holes and then I'm going to sort of gently smear it around because I don't want to wipe it off and then it come out of the holes. Um, so I just smear that around and I'm going to set that to the side and let it dry. So now that my canister has two good coats of paint with the ivory, I'm going to be using some acrylic warm buff as well as some truffle chalk paint made by Waverly. And I'm going to begin by just taking my fan brush, dipping it into my warm buff paint, and then wiping a little bit of the excess off and going all the way around, giving it a little bit more dimension. And I'm just trying to make this look a little bit more realistic. So once I get that to the desired color I want, I do set it to the side and let it dry completely. And then I give the lid one good coat of the truffle chalk paint and it only takes one coat. It gives it really good coverage because it's that nice dark brown. And then now that this has dried, I do take my truffle chalk paint and just sporadically draw lines around. Just no rhyme or reason, just here or there, wherever I decide to put them. And then once I get all the lines on there that I want, I do take my dry brush and go over those lines, just trying to blend them in a little bit. And then I also take the dry brush and use some of the Waverly as well as the Warm Buff, just going around it trying to blend everything in. Then I decided to take the fan brush, and you will see me struggling here a little bit because the brush was still wet from where I cleaned it earlier. And I'm just trying to um, blend this in to give it a more realistic look. And once I finally get that fan brush dried off a little bit, I just go back and forth with the ivory and the warm buff until I get it to the desired look. And it is turning out so cute. I really like how this one is turning out. So then I took some leaves off of a pick that I already had and I began by painting it in the warm buff, but these leaves soak that acrylic paint up so much that you could still see the greenery. So I went back over it with some chalk paint and let that completely dry. Then I go back over it with some of the warm buff and it turns out very nicely. That chalk paint really served as a really good primer for these leaves. So then I'm just going to clip the end of my little leaves off so that it's all the same color there. So I just, hit, I just kept that little piece on there so I could paint it. And then I'm going to take some hemp rope 
and create a messy bow and I'm going to glue this as well as the leaves to the stem and I originally put the leaves on the side and the bow in the front but then I do take my bow off and then put it more towards where the leaves are because I really like the way they look together and I'm going to secure that down with some hot glue. <clears throat> Now, if you're going to be using this canister a lot, I do recommend that you use a clear glaze or some sort of protectant on the outside of the glass just to keep the paint from chipping or wearing off. And this is how she turned out. So cute. I really, really do like how this one turned out so beautiful you'll have to let me know what you think if you're new here i hope that you will consider hitting that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you'll be notified each time i upload a new video so for the second project it is going to be using the same concept i created the lid the same way and gave the canister or the base a nice coat of the chalk paint and then I did sand that down nice and smooth because I wanted it to have a nice smooth finish. Now I'm going to be painting these with this gorgeous treasure gold paint made by plaid and I shake this up really really well because you want to make sure all the colors nice and, and even and I give it one good coat of paint on the lid and the stem and then I will set that to the side and let it dry. Then the base of the acorn container, I give it two coats. Now the first coat, I am very particular about how I do this. I try to make sure that I'm not leaving any excess paint because I want it to have a nice smooth finish. Now, of course, you could spray paint this, but I had this beautiful gold paint on hand and I wanted to use it for this project. So on the second coat, I am very particular, like I said, to make sure it is nice and smooth. And then I'm going to set that to the side and I'm going to let it dry. And then to give it a little pop of color, I'm going to use this orange ribbon that is also from the Dollar Tree. It has some gold trimming on the outside edges. And I'm going to hot glue that down around the crease there at the bottom of the acorn base. And then I'm also going to create a bow with some cute little tails to glue to the stem. So you guys, if you are liking this video, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel. So once I get this bow to the length that I like it, the little tails, I glue that to the stem and this is how she turned out. She is so pretty. I really do like this one as well. And you know, gold is making a comeback. So you guys, I just want to thank you for watching this video. Please take care and I will see you next time.